Hi guys. I wasn't going to bother videoing this because I'm just playing around with bits of polystyrene and Alka-Seltzer tablets. I'm going to try and make myself a little boat driven along by bubbles. Tried the other day and failed. Um, just going to have another go though. So it's going to be three layers of polystyrene. I'm going to cut that hole out, the tablet will fit in there, I'll cut a groove, or push a groove, back, then there'll be a circle cut in there, that will go through the next layer down as well, and I think I'll put a third layer on as well, so the air will, or the carbon dioxide gas, will come out of there, along the little groove, down the hole, which will go to the bottom of the boat, and then there'll be a slope at the back, and the idea is the bubbles will go up the slope, and the action of them going up the slope will push the boat forwards. That's the theory. So, so I wasn't even going to bother videoing it, but it's coming along, looks right, so I thought I might as well. Right, that's the hole melted through with the soldering iron. What I need to do now is chamfer the back off, make a slope with a slot in it to guide the bubble. That's the idea. And then I need to put a cover on it. I'm going to try an idea. I'm going to use some clear plastic from a pop bottle. I'm going to glue it across the top, but I'm only going to glue it from the back to about halfway. The idea is I can flick the front up. That's not going to be airtight, but what I'm hoping is if that's wet that will make a, a seal and it will take more effort for the air to try and get out through the seal than it will to go along the track that's going to be there, down there and up underneath. No idea if it will work but I'm going to try it. There's my uh, slot or guide for the air to go from the Alka-Seltzer container through there, then down that hole, out of that hole, and hopefully rise us a bubble up that slope up the back of the boat. That's the bit of plastic cut from the pop bottle. So as I say, I'll glue that up to halfway there. We'll see if it works. For glue, I've been using this cheap stuff from the bargain store, so we'll see. So the idea is we just lift it up, slide the alka seltzer inside with some water. Can't see that holding it down now. Might have to think of something else. And I think I need to put a weight underneath because that's going to float up much too high. Temporary fix, a map pin just to 
hold it down at the front and a couple of nuts that I found to give it a bit of weight. Okay, let's see what we can do. Half an alka seltzer. Some rubber bands to hold it down. Oh, I forgot to put water in it. moving. It's going around in a circle, not the way I want it to go. But that's definitely moving forwards. So it looks like we've cracked it. I haven't got the balance quite right, or the steering. going round in circles. What can I do? It's definitely moving forwards with each bubble. Not quite as neat and tidy as I'd have liked it to be, but it's going. Round in circles. See, once it's settled itself, it definitely goes. Could have done with a bit more water in there, I think. Still plenty of Hulka seltzer.
So, success. Alka Seltzer powered boat. Wish I'd, wish I'd filled the bath up this time. Didn't think I'd need it with a little boat like this. Put a rudder on it. I wonder if that's something silly like the fact I've got magnets on it, that it's turning, <laughs> turning north. Oh, I bet that's what it is, because that's magnets I've got on the bottom just to add some weight to it. So a quick recap, how does it work? We've got carbon dioxide being created by the Alka-Seltzer and water. That's going along a little pipe there, down through a hole to the bottom of the boat, and then the bubbles are coming up a slope on the back of the boat, and that's pushing it forwards. There's the slope, and there's the little guide for the bubbles. Success! But because I've got magnets on it, it turns around. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>